brick brick pam brick brick pam brick pam brick so this is my finished Jamaican escovitch sauce that's the Jamaican escovitch sauce and this sauce you could pair it with fry fish or fry salt fish welcome back to my channel guys wagwan thanks for checking back in it's your boy chef chris b back at it again in the kitchen so, all right so guys today i'm going to be doing a quick and simple jamaican recipe and that's the jamaican traditional escovit sauce now escovit sauce is a pretty popular sauce in jamaica and even in the caribbean we often use it to pair it with fried fish or you can also use it to pair it with fried salt fish so these are my ingredients as you can see i have my bell peppers so i have my green red and yellow bell peppers i have scotch bonnet pepper now the scotch bonnet pepper is it's pretty hot so i'm only going to be using one the recipe i'm using is for four to five people so one scotch bonnet pepper should be enough i have my carrot i have my onion um also my vinegar so i like to use hence vinegar this brand is a good brand all right so i'm gonna prep my ingredient usually i prep before i start cooking but i want you guys to see while i'm prepping and always remember to wash your veggies before you use them always wash your veggies first before you actually use them all right i want to know more about my subscribers i want to know where you from so you can comment when i post a video i want you guys to comment where you from and tell me your favorite dish so actually tell me what dish you like to cook if you cook at home and i want you guys to tell me if you actually tried any of my recipe yet guys so I'm gonna start my escovitch sauce so usually I start with my water about two cups of water and vinegar about one cup of vinegar and pimento so five five pimento and I'm using the whole allspice now the scotch bonnet I'm gonna add, I usually add my scotch bonnet, bonnet pepper early as possible because I want all the flavor from the pepper. So I'm gonna add my scotch bonnet. I'm gonna add my sugar, it's about a quarter cup of sugar. You're gonna add about one teaspoon of black pepper. And your salt about one tablespoon of salt so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna allow this to boil for five minutes so these ingredients I add first I'm gonna allow them to boil for five minutes then I'm gonna saute my veggies for one minute and then I'm gonna add this liquid to the veggies. All right, so guys, I'm gonna saute my veggie for one minute. So I'm using olive oil. You could use about half tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm just gonna saute my veggies for about one minute. So just saute it for one minute. And then you're gonna add the liquid to it. So for one minute and you're gonna the reason why you salt it because you want to get 
the aroma, you want to get the, all the flavors from your veggies. So like I always said, it's always good to saute your veggies first. Alright, so one minute I'm going to turn the fire off. I'm going to add this sauce. Oh, look at that beautiful. Look at that beauty. So even though the fire is off, this is actually it's still cooking. So that's why I said don't saute it for more than a minute. So allow it to rest for about 10 minutes before you actually serve it. So if you're making this with a fried fish, what you want to do is make your sauce first, set it aside, and then you could fry your fish after. But look at this guys. This smells so good. I wish you could actually smell it. it smells so good. Looking so good. I'm gonna go ahead and taste the carrot. Mmm. Yo, I'm telling you man, this yo, this good man, this good. Look good, taste good. Yeah man. So guys remember you can watch my other videos. I have other videos on my channel. But thanks for checking in, thanks for subscribing, thanks for the usual support.